morning it's friday hooray 10 o'clock i've been doing admin you now know what that admin entails um i've also got another another admin thing that we have to do nowadays which is once pretty much once a month we have to go around all our stock machines and fill out a checklist to make sure everything is still good to make sure it hasn't leaked oil and stuff like that so i've been around the few machines that we have down here thankfully um, got all that done um, the reason I'm late setting off is I've been waiting for a boom position sensor for a loading shovel which is up towards Glasgow um, that part would have been ordered but it was coming from Germany which means it's coming with DHL which means DHL isn't delivered till 12 between 12 and 2 o'clock um, so my parts man has gone up to the parcel office and intercepted it good job and um, the only problem now is between him collecting it and me getting it I've had a phone call to say that uh, I've got 235 in the Lake District that is leaking a lot of oil not good so that is where I'm going first I am heading into the Lake District completely the wrong direction to be heading up north towards Glasgow but first I need to get some bolts and I'll show you for why when we get to the 235. Changed a bit since I was last here, look. Got a little road now. Last time I only came as far as this, I was at that 340 doing that pilot accumulator. Um, yeah, Friday traffic in the Lake District. One time to hit the lake. So, we'll go and have a look at this 235 now. Since we last spoke, I got a picture through of where the broken bolt was and it isn't on the pump, it's on the valve chest. So I re-evaluated the bolts that I needed and we're not needing M12s, we are needing M10s. I've got some of them. Uh, probably should shut the gates behind me because there'll no doubt be some nosy tourist wondering, oh what's going on here? Is it another hotel? place is full of hotels. Right, we'll, uh, we'll see you up there. Just been down and had a look at it and uh, jumped off the track into a puddle. Wasn't looking. God. Hey, the 340 is flat out now. I just presume the 340 was moved out and the 235 is brought in. I thought it was the other machine here. But Anyway, um, I'll show you this oil leak, it's pretty bad. Everything's had a good coating of oil, even the window. The uh, broken bolt is... In there. That's one end of it, unfortunately. I uh, don't think there's going to be anything sticking out for me to grab hold of. It won't be tight on the threads. There shouldn't be any Loctite on it. But that's going to be pretty awkward to get on. Finger tight. Got it. And <laughs> We're getting it. Oh, it's gone tight. Oh. There it is. Left hand drill bit would have got it, but it's 10.9, it's fairly hard stuff. You can see in the centre there, I got it almost in the centre with a uh, centre pop. And when I centre popped it, it kind of shocked it. And then I managed to get a pick on it and screwed it out to the, to it was flush and then it went tight because the threads are slightly damaged there. You can see I managed to chop it around with a chisel. Good job. Right, I need to replace the seal on the uh, fitting. So I need to take that other bit out. Just bought these this morning while I was in at the tool shop getting bolts. Spotted these super long Allen keys and always wanted them. I'll just buy a draper set. I don't need 
I don't use them enough to buy Mac or Snap-on. £19 for that pack. Could have spent four times as much on a Snap-on set or a Mac tool set and it's £19 if I snap one, I'll just get a replacement. It's for nothing. Right. What am I looking for? 8 mil, 9, 10 mil, 10 mil Allen key. That's an 8. Oh, do I have a 10? That's a 10. Right, new awning for the pipe. Put that in there. Not gonna fit. I'm sure that one's the right one. Yeah, that's in. Right, I'm just gonna take this half million bolts out and clean the face up. Looking good. There we go then, successful job. It took 20 litres of oil to put it back on the gauge. Saying they, they, they were all saying, oh, be more than 40 like, but um, yeah, just 20. It always looks worse than it is. Here's my little trophy. Pop that in there. <laughs> Replaced all four bolts with new ones, just in case. I'll maybe keep them. There's probably nothing wrong with them, but I'll pop them in there. And get us out of a hole for something. Right, it's one o'clock now, so I'm back in the van and probably two and a quarter hours up to the next job. Okay, last job DL280. I need to replace this sensor here. Um, remember, I demonstrated this shovel a few months ago. Must have gone down well because they bought it. The exact one. So. That's not too bad, is it? Um, yeah, it's just a five minute job, this, but... I don't actually know what it's supposed to be doing. I'm just told to come up here and do it. So I have. It's not oil on the floor over there, is it? No, surely not, no. No, it must have been washed or something, I presume. Right, I'll get some 13 mil Spaniards and whip this sensor off. So what this sensor does, it's the loader arm height uh, sensor, so it knows what height it's at. So that's for your return to dig functions. That's what that does. Should be straightforward enough. How hard can it be? <laughs> okay, so there's the new one, old one. Um, there's a little notch in here which has to go into a certain position on the arm so if you are changing these for whatever reason pay attention when you take it off there's a new sensor down there fitted um, if I go into monitoring vehicle analog input you can see the angle sensor changing job. Make sure it works. If we lift the beam up to the right height, should kick out at the predetermined spot, wherever that may be. There, apparently. Nobody here. <laughs> nice and quiet. Ah, that's grand. Everything's working anyway, so. That's the end of my day. <laughs> I got stuck in traffic on the way up here. Yeah, I got stuck in traffic. 
20, what did it say, 23 minute, uh, 23 minute delays and I've got it all to go and sit back in now. Mint. I need to be back down towards Carlisle for a specific time and I am definitely not going to make it. So, another classic Friday where you set out to have a nice quiet day, get finished on time and you end up doing best part of 300 mile. <laughs> Sure, it'll be something in that region, 300 mile ish. That's for step still, 20 litres of hydraulic oil. Right, I wanted the video up, thanks for watching. Short little video again, but I think it works really, it keeps it all digestible. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you next week. Oh no, we'll see you later on in the week because when you're watching this, it'll be Tuesday night, hopefully. Everything goes to plan. Yeah. See you soon.